A very good afternoon. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. Well, a war broke out in the BBMP council during Shraddhanjali's session for UR Anantamurti. Congress and BJP squared off after BJP member B.V. Ganesh said that Anantamurti's thoughts were questionable, but his writing was not. Manjanath Reddy of the Congress lashed out at B.V. Ganesh over his comments, which resulted in a verbal duel between the members of the two parties. Well, uh, the Congress, uh, as you just heard, also questioned the BJP over the bursting of crackers after Anantamurti's death. And of course, it looks like BJP and Congress came to blows once again, this time at the BBMP Council, and it was with regards to your Antimurti's uh, Shraddhanjali. In fact, when the discussion was on, the Congress pulled out the BJP for the celebration that took place soon after your Antimurti's uh, demise. And of course, the BJP was stating uh, very clearly that absolutely no uh, reason uh, to, in fact, uh, blame themselves, and they also claimed that it had nothing to do with them. Hello, Paraspara Matar, but it could be published. Well, our leader Kumar Vishwas has made serious allegations against the BJP. He said that a BJP MP asked him to join the party and help it win Delhi elections. मैंने ना बताया कि मेरे कुछ जो अच्छे मित्र हैं अलग-अलग संगठनों में उनमें से भारतीय जनता पार्टी के एक नम निर्वाचित सांसद मित्र अवश्य मिलने आए थे रात को आए थे और काफी देर तक हम लोग बैठे रहे क्योंकि पुराने दोस्त हैं 10-15 साल पुरानी दोस्ती है उन्होंने मुझे ये कहा कि आप इधर आ जाइएगा और आप मुख्यमंत्री के मटेरियल हैं हमारी ऊपर भी बात हुई है और कुछ आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक भी आ जाएंगे आपके नाम पर और हमारा उनसे भी संवाद है देश बनाइए राष्ट्र बनाइए तो मैंने कहा आप बनाइए राष्ट्र सरकार ने देश ने आपको जिम्मेदारी दी है और हम पूरी हमारी पूरी शुभकामनाएं हैं राष्ट्र निर्माण में हम जैसे अकिंचन का कोई सहयोग होगा सामान्य नागरिक के नाते तो हम जरूर करेंगे हर एक को करना चाहिए क्योंकि नरेंद्र मोदी भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रधानमंत्री नहीं है नरेंद्र मोदी एक करोड़ भारतीयों के प्रधानमंत्री है चुनाव से पहले वो भाजपा के कैंडिडेट थे ये सरकार बीजेपी की नहीं है ये सरकार मेरी है ये सरकार हर आम आदमी की हर व्यक्ति की है तो अगर सरकार अच्छा करेगी तो प्रशंसा भी हम ही करेंगे और सरकार खराब करेगी well, uh, Vishwas lost the parliamentary elections from a Meti constituency made the startling claims while speaking to a leading newspaper. He also claimed that 12 ARP MLAs who did not want a re-election were willing to support the proposal. He also said that the BJP offered him Delhi's chief ministerial post. Meanwhile, the BJP has reacted sharply on the accusation and condemned the remarks made by Kumar Vishwas. Vishwas is not an elected MLA from Delhi. He fought the Lok Sabha elections as the ARP candidate from a Meti and faced faced an embarrassing defeat. The constitution allows an unelected person to become the chief minister of a state, provided he or she fulfills the stipulation of getting elected within uh, six months of swearing in. And uh, this, in fact, uh, created an uproar of sorts among the political circles with different parties uh, expressing their viewpoint on this startling claim by Kumar Vishwas. Let's listen in to what uh, the Ahmadi party had to say with regards to this claim. देखिए ऐसा है कि ये घटना 19 मई की है और कुमार विश्वास जी के पास जो मनोज तिवारी नव निर्वाचित सांसद हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के वो उनसे मिलने के लिए गए थे और उन्होंने उनको मुख्यमंत्री बनने का ऑफर दिया था कि आप 18 विधायक तोड़ के लाइए और आपको मुख्यमंत्री बना देगी हमारी पार्टी तो इस प्रकार का प्रयास भारतीय जनता पार्टी पहले से ही करती रही है जिसके लिए हम लोग बीच-बीच में आगाह किए कि भाजपा जोर-थोड़ की राजनीति कर रही है भाजपा संविधान और मर्यादा को ताक पर रख के सरकार बनाने की कोशिश कर रही है और हमारे विधायकों को डराने धमकाने की कोशिश कर रही है जिस पे वंदना कुमारी जी ने एफआईआर भी दर्ज कराई थी एक मामले में 
हम लोग महामहिम राष्ट्रपति जी से भी मिले थे उनसे भी हमने गुहार की थी कि यहाँ संविधान की मर्यादा की रक्षा की जाए तो अभी देखिए आप दो तीन दिन से फिर से उन्होंने कहानी शुरू कर दी and well uh, it uh, looks like uh, the op is stating that there may just be some truth to what vishwas is saying meanwhile the bjp of course reacted very harshly uh, to what kumar vishwas had to say here's what shanawas hussain uh, had to say about kumar vishwas statement puri tarah se aam aadmi party afwa phailane wali party ban gayi bharti janta party ke paas neta ka akal nahi hai जो हम किसी अन्य दल से लाकर मुख्यमंत्री बनाएंगे अब तो अरविंद केजरीवाल भी एक बार मुख्यमंत्री बन गए उसके बाद अब उनके मुख्यमंत्री बनने के कोई चांस आगे कई साल नहीं जहां तक सवाल सरकार बनाने का है ये मामला माननीय उपराज्यपाल के पास है उपराज्यपाल सबसे बड़ी पार्टी होने के नाते अगर हमें निमंत्रण देंगे तो हम जरूर उस पर विचार करेंगे और विचार करके निर्णय करेंगे लेकिन बिना विचार के हम इस पर जब तक निर्णय नहीं करेंगे जब तक हमारे पास कोई निमंत्रण नहीं आएगा अभी तक हमारे पास कोई निमंत्रण नहीं है और जहां तक सवाल है कि किसी आम आदमी पार्टी के नेता को मुख्यमंत्री बनाने की बात का इसमें कोई इस खबर का सर पैर नहीं है कुमार विश्वास साहब बताए कि उनको किसने ऑफर किया किस नेता ने कहा सिर्फ भ्रम फैलाना ठीक नहीं Shanawaz Hussain uh, stating of course that there's absolutely no truth to what Kumar Vishwas has gone on to state and that it's absolutely impossible that any representative of the Safra party would have asked him to join the party let alone uh, be projected as Delhi's next chief minister And well, Karthik Gowda has filed for anticipatory bail from the city civil court after reports that the police could arrest him after calling him in for questioning in the rape and cheating case against his name filed by Maitreya Gowda. Karthik was booked under sections 376 and 420. In fact, uh, Karthik Gowda there ensuring that he uh, seeks uh, the necessary protection. Uh, in fact, uh, it is expected that he will be going ahead and uh, producing himself before the police soon for questioning. Uh, it prob- possibly today is when the questioning will take place. And having said that, of course, he is trying to ensure that uh, even post that there is no p- way he will get uh, arrested at uh, any point. Uh, in fact, uh, Sadan and the Gowda meanwhile also reacted on the controversy but continued. to do what politicians are known to do best take the high road and maintain a neutral stand saying that law will take its course and that the law is the same for one and all i i will not make any statements law will take its own course i said that uh, since last three days after uh, this episode or incident came out see i was on my duty i had been to cochin to inaugurate uh, jandan yojana yesterday i was in delhi i was in my office today i am here of course uh the law will be uh, one and all for each and every one whoever it may be uh, i i have no comments because already the investigations are going on let let to uh, take its own course Uh, that's what uh, Sadan and the Gowda had to say. Once again, of course, uh, uh, saying uh, and sticking to the diplomatic route, where he stated that law will take its own course and that he will not uh, intervene. In fact, uh, let's take a look at exactly what happened yesterday, uh, where Maitreya had a rather strange Ganesh Chaturthi. She was grilled by the Arti Nagar police for 12 hours soon after she returned from the temple. She was questioned by the cops from noon. to midnight and all the evidence has also been taken in by the police be it the pictures or the phone conversations that she does have at hand And well a man had a close shave after he fell off a tree in Mysore the locals had complained that there were too many nilgiri trees in the vicinity of Saraswati Pura the water and sanitary board had written a letter to the forest department to clear the eucalyptus trees four contract workers from Tamil Nadu were engaged in chopping off the trees when the shocking incident took place As you can see, one of the workers was cutting off the branch branches uh, while sitting on the tree. Fell from a height of 50 feet 
on to the transformer. Fortunately, of course, he did not hit his head anywhere. There was no power as well, considering this works. Uh, in fact, the electricity board had switched off the power. So it is a miraculous escape to say in the least. Uh, the man soon after managed to survive, uh, only suffered a few injuries. It is understood that the victim is safe after treatment and has returned to work. After, of course, that initial shock of uh, what had taken place after the 50 feet drop, uh, he is now very much uh, back to normal is what we understand but uh, there was a little bit of a safety issue as well several people had voiced their safety concerns uh, when this man had climbed up that particular tree to almost 50 feet with absolutely no way of ensuring that uh, in fact uh, he does not fall and when he fell uh, also it is understood that the workers pulled him out from there they went on to call an ambulance but for 15 minutes no ambulance turned up leading to them going ahead and uh, taking an auto to the nearest hospital. There Curiosity <laughs> ये कंट्रैक्टर गलो मरा गया तो उन कटमार थी नहीं ना और उबरी कास्मा डर स्टेज आना इट को तरह और तो सेफ्टी मेजर्स हो गोली और तो ये नून उड़ाला अब नहीं दिमशा आदरो अलग कुती दावनो एम्बुलेंस वेला ये नूला आमल आटो दली नान बहिद मेले आटो कर सी कड़स्ता बोध किए दाने सतीला पुण्य के ये नू य and well, uh, in fact, uh, that was the person who had shot that entire footage. Uh, he went on to state that the reason he started uh, capturing what took place is to find out uh, why exactly there were no safety uh, measures taken up. But uh, besides that, it is uh, understood that uh, he managed to capture this footage. And immediately after, uh, what also came to light was the fact that there was absolutely no emergency services if, in fact, something had taken place, if something had gone wrong and this man was grievously injured. 15 minutes for an ambulance would have been a situation where it was life or death.